All right, guys, we are here at Florida Audio Expo 2024. We're at Coastal Source. That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Hey folks, I'm Gene Delasala with Audioholics. We're here with Peter Sepsi, Director of Sales for Coastal Source. How are you doing, Peter? Very good, Gene. Good Peter, it's awesome to see you guys here. I've heard a lot about your products. I've seen them before in various installs. Uh, you know, I went with Don Dunn from Haven Smart and took a look at some of the stuff that you guys had in some of the jobs that he's done. And you guys are serious about high performance, high output speakers. And we're looking at these speakers right here. I don't know the model number, if you could tell me the model number on them. Sure, this is our current flagship 12.0 line source bollard. We're here at the show showing off what's capable from a high performance standpoint, outdoors. Oh, okay. So the advantage guys, the reason why they have line source arrays kind of driver topologies here is, is you don't get the standard 6 dB of roll off for every doubling of distance like you would with a conventional speaker driver topology. With a line source, it actually is 3 dB for every doubling of distance. So what that does is it allows you to project loud, clean sound in the far field so you get good coverage, you get concert level output. What is the max SPL on these speakers? I'd imagine it's pretty damn high. It's, it's quite high. Um, I don't know the number off the top of my head. What, what I will say what our clients love about it is with your sprawling backyards where you might have your grand pool, it's, it's dynamic. People want to in, use their entire backyard, so why not have a much more consistent listening level experience throughout, to your point of the, the loss compared to a point source speaker, I don't want this to be tearing my hair back when I'm standing right next to the speaker. Uh, so that's what the clients really love about having the line source. So why don't you give us a breakdown of all the drivers? I see a bunch of drivers, sure. I see AMT tweeters and, and mid-ranges. I'm sure there's some bass drivers because we heard some good bass extension in this room when we're listening before. Team, everybody loves bass, so of we course. have to, of course, have that. So we've got uh, along the front, uh, so the grill is off of the speaker currently. So we've got 12 three-inch planar ribbons. Behind the ribbon array, you've got six four-inch mid-bass drivers. And then the base of the cabinet, you've got a 10-inch subwoofer driver that ports out the rear of the cabinet. One thing to keep in note, if you can take a look at the angle, notice how the ribbons are angled. Mm -hmm. But Gina, as you know, you know, with ribbons, we get that great horizontal dispersion, but that limited vertical. So the arcing of those ribbons allow us to enjoy the high frequency here when we're in the near field, right next to the speaker. And also when you, when you go from sitting to standing position, you're not gonna hear a major tonal shift because of that as well. Exactly, yes, yes. And then of course the shape plays a lot into it as well as we're using this essentially as a waveguide. If you notice towards the top, how it's wide and then it narrows as you get into the mid and then of course the far field as at the bottom like you talked about. I got you. So now we live in Florida, we live in the environments, we live in the rain all, all season long, right? Yeah. How does a speaker like this withstand that? Is it designed to be, is there a certain appliance, an IPV rating or something like that, that it's designed to handle the weather of Florida and the sun? Yeah, of course. The sun dry rots everything. Yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, so we are a Florida-based company. We understand corrosion, heat, um, it, it's, it's a real issue. So yes, everything that we do, and we only focus on the outdoor chain. We don't build things for the indoor. There's a lot of great companies that focus on the indoor. We're 100% dedicated to the outdoors, right? So there is no steel in our products. We only use extruded aluminum. The cabinets of this is a rotomold mold composite. It's the same thing you're gonna see in the marine industry. It's the same thing uh, your, your best coolers are made out of. The finish is baked through. So despite all the heat gain that you get, you're not going to have a finish that's going to fade over time. It's going to maintain. Then the drivers, of course, are weatherized, but the last element we do is the grill. So there are five layers of this grill, which really prevent a lot of that uh, reclaimed water, some of the particulates that we don't want from resting on the drivers. The grill is really preventing that. Right. The nice thing about it, you, you, you clean it like an air conditioning filter. You pop the grill off and you can rinse it right down. Oh, that's cool. So now how does this mount? I don't want someone like <laughs> some kid just knocking it over. You're having a good party and yeah. enjoying jumping in the pool, bam. Uh, it's a great question. So this, uh, it's typically in the landscape. You can bury it. You can only bury it about 18 inches because we want to keep that entire ribbon mm -hmm. array exposed. 
if you've got an application where you maybe want to put this on a pool deck or uh, you know maybe a roof deck, we do make a plate, uh, aluminum plate that you're going to secure to the concrete or whatever the substrate is. And then there are mounting holes in the bottom of the speaker that secure that plate to prevent it from being tipped over. Gotcha. So now how would you set this up in an environment, but if you have a big pool deck, would you set this in mono or would you set it in stereo? Or would you do multiple, like maybe three or four of them in a large area to give good coverage? A lot of options. So again, there's so much variety in property and that's what we're really about is flexibility from an installation standpoint. We take a system approach to everything. So the beauty of the system is actually right behind the grill, you can select whether you want this to be a left or a right speaker. So in our system, there's a single cable that carries eight conductors out to each speaker and you're going to daisy chain your speakers together. Are they 70 volt? No, so we don't do any 70 volt. Okay. Gene, we just can't get the performance, yeah. the dynamic range that we want uh, from that. So we are still an eight ohm system, but we use 12 gauge cabling, oxygen free copper. Mm -hmm. uh, our cables are have an IP68 rated connection. So even though they're going to be in soil that's potentially saturated, you're always going to maintain that high quality connection, which of course you know is important for fidelity. So you can really uh, in the moment select whether I want this to be a left or right speaker or maybe a situation where I want to do mono that's easy enough to do at the speaker or even in our amplifier, you can select it as well. Now, do you ever use these speakers in conjunction with some of your smaller models in a big install? We do, yeah, definitely, Gene. You know, we've seen applications where maybe the client wants high performance area around that pool deck and there's a nearby summer kitchen or a play area for the kids, and they still want to enjoy high quality music reproduction in that space, but don't really need the uh, projection that the line source was gonna give them. So they use kind of a smaller form factor bollard of ours. You know, I did hear um, at, a, at a dealer demo, I heard one of your speakers, it was just a coaxial driver with a tweeter in the middle. Yep. I don't remember the model number of that, but I remember the sound was really superb on it. It sounds like that was probably our modulus boat speaker. Right. So what's attractive about that, it is a small form factor uh, and it looks very much like our lighting fixtures. So it really blends into the landscape well. Uh, so in an application where yes, you need uh, maybe a, a, it's a smaller area, think maybe a fire pit might be an application mm -hmm. where we really don't need to project a quite uh, a quite a far distance. That's That's a great application for that. And of course it, it uses the uh, 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 same kind of cabling system that this uses. So from it, again, from an installation standpoint, you've still got that performance, that reliability. Okay. Well, let's talk about the amplification of the system. Is it single amped or is it tri-amplified? What is this giant box over here? It yeah. looks like you're doing some voltage stuff over here. <laughs> yes. Uh, so these are bi-amped. So we have some of our, uh, some of our bollards are bi-amped, some are single input. In this case, we're bi amp so we're running one channel to the subdriver, uh -huh. we're running another channel to the SAT section here. Uh, so for us, again, getting back to performance, bi amping Open. is really important. So what this enclosure is here, this outdoor enclosure is actually housing um, our amplifiers. This system here can live completely outdoors. You don't have to run any cabling inside, Gene. So if you really, you can develop this high performance system and never step foot in the house. Again, from an installation standpoint, very convenient. So this enclosure is IP68 once you close the lid and uh, secure the four screws. So this can live next to your pool equipment, on the back of the home, um, on a four x four post in the yard, wherever it's convenient. All you really need is a 120 volt outlet to power it up. The amplifier is four channels. Uh, the other nice thing about the amplifier is it has dynamic power sharing across the channel. Mm -hmm. So when you think about our line source is very efficient, the top end of it but the subwoofer is not so much. Right. They of course require a lot more power. So the amplifier is on demand, they're gonna supply more power to the subs. If it needs to borrow power from the satellite channels, it can do that and reassign it to the sub in the moment when you get that bass drum kick. Gotcha. Uh, so that's why we can have kind of a smaller form factor amplifier, but still deliver huge dynamic range. I'm assuming it, th this is a class D amplifier. Right? That is correct, yeah. yes, class D amp um, with full DSP, we pre-configure the amplifiers before they ship. We have multiple DSP presets for all of our loudspeakers. Of course, you can always tune and tweak in the field if you want, but we believe in when you get it, when you unbox it, the first time you plug it in, you want it, you want it to be amazed. So the amp will be pre-programmed for that speaker. So if you were, I'm assuming you work through an installer, certified installer to put all this together. They have software that they could log into their computer and they could go and customize the sound to how you want it if they want to tweak it out? Yes, that is correct, Gene. So yes, again, we ship it uh, pre-programmed, 
But if you like to go in and tune and tweak and cut this and add this filter and gain down that, you have that full control. Uh, so it's free software that you can download to your PC and the sky's the limit on what you can do. So how do you get sources to it now? Do you work through a control system like Control 4 or Savant or how does that work? Yeah, it's a great question. So a little bit all over the map. So with our outdoor amplifiers, it's going to accept an unbalanced input. So a lot of customers might be using a Blue Sound node or a Sonos port or other streamer. Other customers who have a Control 4 Crestron Savant in their home come out of the audio matrix and then just feed this amplifier here. So really it's kind of whatever the client is used to in the home. For us, what's great is we love leveraging what source is already there because there's nothing new for the client to learn. Yeah. If they're already familiar with App X, they've just added this high performance system outside and now it's just a new zone on their platform. Awesome. So why don't we talk about, uh, you talked about the durability and how this handles the weather. What about warranty? What's the warranty on the speakers, on the electronics? Sure. Uh, our warranty is very simple. So really everything that we make on the audio side is five years. So that goes for the loudspeakers, for the cabling, for the amplifiers and accessories. Again, everything's five years. Okay. Can you give us a rundown of the price of a system like this with the two speakers and the amplifier? Absolutely. So what we're showing here today at the show, uh, so the 12.0 source Bollard is 9,995 feet. Uh, this amplifier here is our 1,200 watt four channel Dante capable amp. That's 5,995. Dante is really cool because you can do all your audio over Ethernet. Yeah. So what's really cool is, again, I mentioned this amp accepts uh, unbalanced inputs. This is the Dante model. So here at the show, uh, obviously, we're all about high performance. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually just doing a Dante feed to this amp. Uh, so we're streaming some high-res music digital directly to the amp. So it's cool. Great. You know, just to wrap this video up, I wanted to do listening. Now, obviously, this speaker is designed to be outside, not into a hotel room, and the acoustics in here are not ideal. But I did hear good imaging. We were listening to, of course, Dominic Fia May. We listened to Birds because I'm very familiar with her song. And I heard good imaging. I heard a good phantom center in the middle. The bass wasn't quite as tight as I'd liked it to be, but a lot of that has to do with the room acoustics. And I'm sure you could do some extra tuning if you really wanted to. But I just heard, you know, it sounded like indoor speakers, even though this is an outdoor system. This probably rivals some of the stuff at the show that's indoors. That's how well this is designed. And overall, I think it's just a really cool package. And the fact that you have the ability now to do concert level outside, but it also sounds good, and it stands up to the test of weather and to the sun and rain, that's just an awesome, it's an awesome solution if you're looking to party really hard in a large area in your backyard, you got a bunch of friends over, you're doing a pool party, this is what you want in your house. Well, I appreciate the feedback, Gene. I would say we enjoy music, we love the outdoors, we put the two together. It's great. Awesome. Well, Peter, it was great that you dropped the knowledge. Guys, if you like this video, please hit the thumb up, hit subscribe. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audiohawks. We appreciate your support. You get direct access to me if you want to suggest video topics. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.